everyone. Both, and both the hand things. That was me fading out. You love that music. Ow. It's lpquiz.com, Dan. We'll get there, you okay? Yeah, I just moved my chair slightly. You're looking Hello, everyone, and Howdy. welcome to another edition of Disney Trivia Live, the show in which we play Disney Live Trivia. My name is Gooby Mosley. I am the co-founder here at this wonderful place we call Laughing. Place. Place, yeah. Uh, and you are Gideon, my wonderful, He's not amazing, talking to me. He's talking to me. talented... Wait, why are you saying you are Gideon? I, I, I can see you right there. That's you. Yes. You are... Meam. My wonderful, amazing, <laughs> talented, Meam. handsome, yeah. goofy, silly, <laughs> funny, 15-year-old son. Unfortunately. Who I love more than anything in the world. Hi, Mom! <laughs> oh, oh, we have breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Oh, we have news. breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news, man, is going to try and play tonight. That's exciting. That's it is exciting. exciting. I am watching it, too. Feel free to keep me updated on this, Broken Jeremiah. I had to turn it off, obviously. Oh, never mind. Don't say a word, Broken Jeremiah. Ours is on pause. I will pick it up after the show. Keep your WrestleMania. No WrestleMania spoilers, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it did. It started, what, at like 7, and then by the time we got through with introductions, it was time for our show. But hello, Alex. How you doing? Hello, DJ Knight 2024. Uh, hello, Alex. 2024 is a cool year. How you doing? We should live there. Okay. Hey, Tron. Uh, Nikki B, happy trivia night to you and Albert. Hello, Gio. How you doing? Nice to have Gio here on a Saturday. Miss you on Tuesdays, Gio. Robert Tucker, nice to have you. Denzel Washington has joined, they joined should, us. They should make it so poor people have trivia built in. <laughs> Freddie Ramirez, greetings, fellow Americans. How you doing, fellow Americans? First you say doing? Freddie Ramirez. Yeah. And then you go, how you doing? Like, we're tight. How you doing, Freddie? Nice to see you. What's up? Those are two very, very, very different things. Uh, Jason Champagne is here. How you doing, Jason? Mr. Champagne. Hi, bubbles. In the wine. Tiny, tiny, tiny bubbles. Make you feel. How you doing, Genie Plus Plus, mother of Geo? They make you feel Genie Plus Plus, you're correct. Nathaniel is here. Uh, DJ, still here. How you doing? Broken Jeremiah, we were just talking wrestling. Um, let's see, who else? Is DJ Knight Amy Jo Johnson? So I guess, is that Amy Jo Johnson? I don't know who Amy Jo Johnson is. Kyle is our, our pop culture. Kyle works for Laughing Place. He is our vice president in charge of pop culture. So um, that's why he would know things like that. What's up? I only know that because of you. Nikki B says, Doobie is hyped tonight. Doobie is hyped today. You know, I never know what I'm going to be like. I I don't think about the show, and then I press start, and then whatever comes out, comes out. And today, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Okay, that, that's a fair spoiler. Yes. Dude, back in my day, I was around for WrestleMania 1. I remember the hype for WrestleMania 1 and how sad I was that I wasn't able to just go to it. Oh, the Pink Ranger. It's supposed to help. Is that like from Yogi Bear or something? Do you know Pink Ranger? Yogi Bear? Yeah. The picnic basket from Ranger Rick. The picnic basket. All right. Uh, we have rules for how to play this game. We're going to show you those rules right about now. All right. We have rules for how to play this game. We're going to show these rules right. Take two. All right. We have rules for how to play this game. We're going to show these. I couldn't find the button. Now I got to do take four. All right. We have rules for how to play this. Take five. All right. We have. I don't like five. All right, we have rules try to play this seven game. That's a lucky number. All right, take seven. We have rules try to play this game. We're going to show you those right about Actually, now. Actually, it's my favorite number. Too late. <laughs> Hello there, and welcome to Disney Trivia Live. We're about to start our contests, but first, let's quickly go over everything you need to know for how to play our simple online trivia game. First off, there are two screens you'll need to see this live stream, and the trivia program you will use to answer. On computer, you can just put the two windows side by side. But on other devices, you may have to use your imagination. If you're playing by yourself, you can put our show on an iPad or something and play on your phone. Or if you're hosting some trivia party with friends, throw us up on your TV and let everyone play on their phones. 
Oh, and not the old-fashioned type of phones. You don't need a phone that can run websites. Websites like LP Quiz! LP Quiz is a custom trivia program written by this guy for you specifically for this show. All you have to do is go to LPQuiz.com and type in the four-digit code you will give when it's time to play the game. Then just pick a name and you're good to go. Now the quizzes are simple. Questions come up, you answer. The faster you answer, the more points you'll get. At the end, the person with the most points wins. But what kind of questions do we have? Let me tell you. Single select, choose one of the multiple choice answers. Multi select, choose one or more of the multiple choice answers. Then hit submit. Unscramble, you are given a bunch of letters and get this, have to unscramble it into a word. Ooh. Crowdsource, an opinion question will be asked. But rather than saying what you think, say what you think the most popular answer will be. Type in, a question is given without multiple choice. You must type in your own answer. Abbreviations are fine, as long as we can tell what you mean. And poll, not for points, just to get to know all of you lovely viewers better. Oh, and we have prizes. If luck is on your side, you will win your very own Disney Trivia Live Maglin. There are two ways to win. Way one, get first place. And way two, finish in the spot that the wheel, I said wheel, wheel, lands on. In order to claim your prize, just take a screenshot of your winning screen and send it to trivia at laughingplace.com. Well, that's about it. You understand how to play, where to play, what the question types are, and how to win, which leaves one more thing to do. Grab your popcorn, grab your friends, and get ready to enjoy Disney Trivia Live, where there is in fact trivia, sometimes. Oh, I'm remembering, I'm remembering, I'm remembering for the first time. For the first time, I remembered that I have to flip off the rules video when it's over. Okay, folks. Wait a second. Okay, Clean boy. we've got two quizzes for you guys today. Two quizzes, two quizzes, two quizzes. Our first quiz, written by me. Should we be learning he's not Zach? Kyle, I don't get your references. What does this mean? Kyle's brain is just... Now i got to look up. Who is Zach Morris? You could have done this while I was in the bathroom. He just typed it. Oh, oh okay. from Saved by the Bell. Okay, that's what I thought Zach Morris was. I don't know why I didn't guess that. <laughs> no, I am not Zach Morris. Two quizzes for you guys today. Two quizzes, two quizzes. Our first quiz. Written by me, but really written by you, or at least all the people that have played. It's called The Survey Game, and we'll get back to that in a moment. Our second quiz, actually written by me, is uh, not called Question Mark. It was called Question Mark in the title here because I wasn't sure what I was going to do when I wanted to schedule the quiz, <laughs> schedule the show. Uh, he'd freeze time when you do time. Oh, no, I'm not Zach Morris. Time continues. Um, so our second quiz actually is called Season of the Force, and it is all about... Turn on a TV once in a while. You know, this is not the kind of advice that my mom used to give me. Hey, kid, why don't you turn on a TV once in a while? <laughs> no, not watching TV, too much TV is a good thing. And I never liked Saved by the Bell at all. It's not one of my shows. Um, all right. It's called Season of the Force. And we're going to have a special guest host Ooh. for that one. Also, what's that surprise you kept telling me about earlier? You'll see in a moment. Okay. So our second quiz, Gideon is going to... Shuffle away, yeah. And Rebecca again. is going to shuffle in, and we are going to do a season of the fourth quiz. Are we ever going to do an episode where you're the one who shuffles away and mom joins me? I was literally just thinking about that. Do you want to do that today? No, I'll do that later. We should do that at some point. We got to do it at some point. We do. I, I can just operate the quiz if no one else. Yeah, you probably know how to operate the quiz by now. I know. I'm pretty sure. I think. <laughs> pretty sure I don't know how to do. I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to press the button. If you can put the link up there, I should be able you to. You can it. handle the rest. Yeah. Not that, not rocket science, as the kids say. And if you should win, yeah. either one of today's contests or finish at a place as designated by the wheel of, I'm a loser, but my mommy loves me anyway, you will win your very own. What? What? The wheel of my, I'm a loser, but my mommy loves me anyway. That's right. We're your mommy now, and you can imagine it because of our sympathies to you. That's right. Mariana gets it. A Disney trivia live match. See, it's, it shows the laughing place. Then it says Disney Trivia Live, and then it says with. It's kind of hard to see. It says with right there, and then Doobie and Gideon, and then over there, that that that's my dad's face right there, and that's my face right there. If you and if, this is the back. 
If you never are able to win one of these, by the way, we will be at the Ultimate Disney Fan Expo in August, and you will be able to pick up one for free at our booth. Just look for the Laughing Place booth. We're also giving out, um, actually, the autographs are not free. We will pay you a dollar to take our autographs. So, Don't be saying that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have that much money. <laughs> All right, so with that, get yourselves over to lpquiz.com, 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 as we prepare to play the survey game. I will explain that as you join us. Your traces stare at me when I go to my fridge. I cannot imagine a worse thing in life. It's not our actual face. It's like our handwriting face. That is just horrible. I put it in a better place, Nikki D. You don't need to be saying that. All right, lpquiz.com, as we prepare to play the survey game. You may ask. What is it? In fact, you may ask. What's the survey game? What is the survey game? Well, um, on LaughingPlace.com, we have a number of games that used to be much more prominent and are now just kind of hidden in the background. But they're there if you want to find them. We have Hangman. We oh. have a bunch of... <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. When you, every, when you guys were, when you were actually talking about Hangman with Mom, you said you were thinking about doing Hangman with the castle. And Mom thought you meant you were going to hang someone on the I castle. I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> no. The turrets on the castle is here. Very different than hanging people on the castle. Very different. We have Hangman. We have a bunch of quizzes. Um, we have another one, which I can't remember what it is, I think, but I'm not even sure anymore. And we have the survey game, where um, people have taken the survey, as well as each player, by playing, takes the survey. Which is, it's like, it's basically Family Feud. Ask you a question, you give the answer, and you get a number of points, depending on how well you match the people that have taken the survey. So what I've done is gone and taken some of those survey questions, mm -hmm. seen what the top answer is, and that is the top answer. So it's kind of like crowdsourced, except you guys are not determining it. It actually is more like Family Feud. So um, I'm surprised. So it's all type in. These aren't multiple choice. You will answer the question via type in, and if you match, you get it right. And if you don't match, the top answer only, you get it right. And if you don't, you get it wrong. What's the prize? And the prize is no, it's, it's a surprise. Oh, you'll see. It's coming. Oh. It's coming. All right, so let's say some hellos yeah, here. Look at this. We got a turnout Earlier, here. Earlier, when he was telling me, he was going to write quizzes, he told me that there was a surprise in one of them. Yeah, it's on he this won't one. tell me. It's on this one. Okay. Uh, Uncle Orbo, tell me. Geo Diz, Ginny Barr is here. Hello, Uncle. Nope. Uh, Denzel, Master Gracie, Madame Leota, and the rest of the trio. Use uh, Grandma this, and this Grandpa. Is payback for surprising me with all the rules in the end. No. This is a happy, a happy surprise. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa. Epcot fan is here. Diz Gio. And those aren't a happy surprise? Jay Champagne. They are, but I'm just letting you know. This is oh. happy. WrestleMania XL. Baby Yoda Schnebby. Bobson. Doug Nut. Chris. Miss Columbia. All right. We just need... Oh, I hear something. That's what we have. We have a hello in chat, too. I hear something. Hello. Hello. Oh, we have a hello in chat. Hello, Leo. Hello. All right. I hear something. Uh, this is right here. Spin that, that wheel! wheel. Except that's a balloon, not a wheel. We couldn't find any place else to say it. Okay. Uh, that did not get cropped exactly right. <laughs> you can see. But we're gonna let it go. I need this. I, I feel I feel bad. How do you adjust the crop? Spin. Spin. Oh, is it up there? That thing? What happened here? What are you? This is weird. Wait, is it one of those up there? Like that one? Did I? Looks yeah, like... but that just makes it big, but oh. it got cropped somehow. Yeah, I oh, just... is it that? Yeah, but it's already full-size crop, so uh -oh. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. That's, that's interesting. You have to find the original file. All right. Anyway. Oh. oh spin okay, that wheel. Okay, we got to come in, and we got to spin that wheel. Um, so if you finish in first place, or... Second. Second. All right, so our top wow. two players, Winnie Maglet. With that, we just need one of you guys to tell us you're ready to begin, and we will get started. Hey, Caitlin, welcome. Just made it. Hey, Trio, speak up in the chat. We'd like to know you're there. I see you're playing, but that's not good enough. Anybody can type in your names. Rye is here. Okay, we got it ready. We need one more ready. We need more ready. Can't start without the readies. We got it ready. Let me only one ready. Oh, oh there they, they come. Ready. Ready, 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 ready. Oh, that guy is here. Wow, WrestleMania really brings out the players. All right, we're going to start the game yes. with a poll. You think Why? they wouldn't come? Why, Gideon? Our chance to get to know you better, and your chance to use the user user interface. Today's poll, which is your favorite room in your house? This one. Is it your kitchen, your living room, your bedroom, or your bathroom? 
that room in the photo. Or the, um, what is this? The loading area of the Great Movie the Ride. The loading area of the Great Movie Ride. Which is your favorite room? This, this isn't a room in my house, your unfortunately. House. It should be. Oh, and Jason's ready, too. Bless him. He's late. That's okay. Better late than never. Um, of these four, though, Gideon, which would you say is your favorite? The one you never leave? The bathroom's actually kind of soothing. You've got what it takes to be a teen. The bathroom is, like, rather mm-hmm. relaxing, soothing. Especially if you play the Super Nintendo with bathroom music in it. Like, makes you want to fall asleep in the toilet. Do you do that? Do you go no, to the I, sh- I should. <laughs> I don't think I do that. I don't know. It, that would be interesting. The one that he doesn't share. What does that mean? The bedroom, I'm guessing he means. No, Kyle doesn't share. I mean, Gideon doesn't share a bedroom. I, that's what he's saying. He doesn't share any of these rooms. I guess also, I'm not the only one who sings C, clearly. And yeah, C is the nice one. Because C is like... I don't know. C does okay. have, like, you know, my bed in it. And I do, I love to spend time in my bed. I do that, like, every night. It's so much, it's so much. If you had to spend 24 hours in only one of these rooms, which would you choose? Just my bed. Because, you know, my bedroom. Because I like to, you know, be in the room I spend. And when the... you have to go to the bathroom? Oh, well. <laughs> have fun with that old dog pee carpet cleaner. <laughs> I guess bedroom is the consensus here. It absolutely is. No one shows bathroom, though. I expected someone. I mean, I'm not this person, but on TikTok, I see plenty of these people who, like, that's the only place they can get some peace in their house. Go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. But I guess it's not the case it's here. It's quiet. Nice. Jason Champagne thinks the removal of Tugamur was a crime against the theme park. Do you agree? I wish it was still there. I think it definitely needed an update. But if it, and if it was, but they, I don't know if it could stay in the form it was in, but I don't know if they're removing it outright was the way it should have gone. But to be honest, having after they did the um the TCM redo, it kind of had already gone downhill a bit, kind of made it actually getting rid of it altogether less bad. Okay, good. Well, that's good. It's like um, it's like the great movie ride is on the roof. <laughs> All right, question number one. We're starting with the type in, folks. I wish this on the roof. <laughs> Spelling does not count. Name a cute Marvel Cinematic Universe character. Remember, you're trying to match what the, the people out there said was the number one answer for this. Name a cute Marvel Cinematic Universe character. Can I ask why the photos are just going to be like going through the great movie ride? Yeah, because you love the great movie ride. This is your surprise. And feel free to you know spiel it or just talk oh, about it. This is the anything. 1933 Busby Berkeley Spectacular Footlight Parade starring James Cagney, Ruby Keeler, and Nick Powell. That's what it is. That's that, that movie right there. It used to spin around, but it doesn't. It didn't do that anymore because, I don't know, it broke and the track got flat. <laughs> So we are greeting your answers over here. I love some of these. Um, I tried to pick questions that are more or less timeless because most of these surveys were taken, I would say, about two two or more years ago. So probably about two years ago. So just keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, some great answers here. Yeah, so the poor person who said Miss Minutes. Um, Miss Minutes wasn't around when most of these people took this survey. Um, Grogu is a fantastic, oh, fantastic answer. Not Marvel, but fantastic answer. Grogu is cute though. <laughs> um, but it looks like most of you guys nailed it. Dude, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I don't even know how you hear that. I don't even hear it. I can, you know me, you know your dad. Um, it is. I'm going to hide a clicking sound in this room <laughs> one day. And I won't tell you where it is. And so you're going to have to do the show with a little click the entire time. Yeah, that will be a very short show. Um, <laughs> Dad here is very persnickety about noise and clicks. You love wind chimes. <laughs> Baby Groot or Groot, we grouped them together. Many of you guys got wind that chimes right. at the LP booth. Um, Thor, Mantis, Black Widow, Rocket, those were the other uh, two, three, four, and five. So. Are you sure that's not the names that those uh, ladies were there? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Alright, so speed does count here, unlike Crowdsource. So Epcot fan is in first place. Is this Geo? Bops and Dugnut, Geodis, and U of O. Question number two in the survey game. We asked a certain number of people, top answer on the board, name a Disney, not Pixar, animated character that you'd like to be your father. What scene is this? This is the Walt Disney Academy Award winning film, Mary Poppins, starring Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. Julie Andrews actually won an Oscar for her portrayal of the nanny who is practically perfect in every way. I'm so happy you're doing it. <laughs> it's all-time favorite Disney ride, am I, am I right? 
Probably still. I mean, the fact that I can never go on it again, like, kind of makes it hard to know, like, how it would compare to, like, Alma the Canoes. Whoever was willing to get this answer wrong to say, Darth Vader, you are my hero. <laughs> he killed himself for his son. I mean. <laughs> I'm also a fan of uh, Bambi's dad. <laughs> Why can't I think is a good one. Uh, Goofy, Goofy's a good one. Question mark is questionable. <laughs> nice. So, uh, Disney character, animated character you'd like to be your father. And uh, a lot of you guys nailed this one. It is. That's a Star Wars planet. <laughs> yes. We accepted Mustafar. <laughs> Figuring you meant Mufasa. And uh, Mufasa is the number one answer. Also on the board were Geppetto, Goofy, King Triton, and Mickey. What's on the live, Kyle? No. Okay, movie right? I mean, yeah, it is, I guess. Oh, yeah. So, it's not, I mean, so Mufasa, what, what? Oh, my answer is because of his eyes. I thought she could see the answer of my reflection. <laughs> Geo blanked. Wait. Geo, these are not your questions. You're not a crowdsource guy. You're not a survey guy. You're a knowledge guy. That's just the way it is. <laughs> it's not Geo's. After two questions, we have Uncle Orville, Ginny Barra, Matt. Uncle Orville, they're not cheating this time. The trio is not, are not able to cheat on this one. How do you know that? I mean, they can, but they can't crowdsource now, Chief. Um, oh, yeah, they can't. Ginny Barr is in second place, though, and Geodis in fifth. Question number three, we asked 82 people. Top answer on the board. Name a current Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom attraction that you hope stays forever. What did the survey say? <laughs> Snub's name is not instead of the dad. <laughs> This is uh, the scene immediately after Mary Poppins. This is the uh, pink sister. I'm not going to spill this one. You're not going to grapefruit and... <laughs> that's the word you remember. You'll never see grapefruit the same way again. That, that's the line you choose. That's remember. the only line I remember. You don't remember the whole... Uh, the, the one I said last night as we were driving through every bill? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hold on to those walls of versus posters. I miss coming home from the airport at Oakland Airport. I missed our turn onto the 24, and we ended up driving through Emeryville at 11:30 at night. Not exactly what our plan was, but we're here. It's not like five police cars. That's the best part. Oh, you're not going to tell the people what's what's here. Haunted Mansion, TTA, people move. What, what, what? This is crazy. I am shocked. At the fact that, um, wow, Rebecca's like, get rid of them all. Get them all out of here. We don't need none of them. You, mm. out, you, out, you, out. <laughs> Obviously. It's the one they need to keep forever. It's, it's without competition. Is yes. Monster Sheep's laughable. <laughs> Everyone loves it. So if this were crowdsourced, I think uh, Carousel of Progress would have been the winner. Maybe Haunted Mansion, but it's not. It's the survey game. And our survey said... Pirates of the Caribbean. Only three of you got Apparently that right. Apparently someone guessed Mufasa, but didn't get points. Did you grade wrong? It's possible I missed it. I, I, I... Only no, we, 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 we click them manually, so... We accept, we accept misspelling. Yeah, we if, we can, if we can tell you misspelled, we accept it's it. It's possible I clicked it wrong. It's also possible it came in after the time ran That's out. That's also true. So, um, Pirates of the Caribbean... Space Mountain, people who were Big Thunder, Small World. So the two things that you guys picked... Haunted Mansion and Carousel of Progress was not even in the top five of our survey. That's crazy. That's crazy. I bet he'll never see breakfast the same way again. Who? Isn't that what they say? In I know, but who's never going to see breakfast? Who was it? Who? Bigsby Bird Bugs. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, wait, no. Let's move on. I have no idea. So you to... Please tell me you got the. Please tell me the next one's good. Oh, Baby Yoda vaults in the first place. One of the few to get that right. Up five spaces. Yoda, lay, Yoda. No, that's not right. Um, what are we doing? People move way up. Uh, down fire. On fire. On fire. That's not fire. Oh, that's not fire. You want some fire? Go to the next question. If you're smart, the next question should be fire. But I don't think you're smart. I'm not smart. Oh, man. I had to pick 11 pictures. I oh. can go forever. You do realize there's 11 scenes in the ride, right? Name a current Disneyland Park attraction that you hope stays forever. So from Disney World to Disneyland Park that you hope stays forever. 
Jason Champagne. Clearly, the survey responses came from casual fans and not diehard. Jason Champagne throwing shade at our game players. Wow. Well, keep that in mind for this one then, Mr. Champagne. You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. You talking to me? That's exactly how that. I don't even need it. You do. You know, you do the rest of the great movie, right? You know it way better than me, obviously. I love what you do. You just go you back and forth. You talking to me? No, you talking to me. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. It's a, it's a sullen minute of that. Then the, then the tour guy just gives up, runs away. They just go, okay, well, okay, time. I'm gonna take over now. So that's exactly how the ride went. I'm pretty sure. No more midnight. That that is that's actually. Wow. Oh, on fire. Fire. So um, our answers are a lot of Haunted Mansion, including Haunted Mansion Not Christmas, a few small worlds. Someone said Haunted Mansion Not Christmas. Yep. Nice. But Even uh, the Haunted survey Mansion. answer is Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, I'm very sad that not more people will guess it's in both parks, and Disneyland's is widely considered better. So why should Magic Kingdom stay? It just lands not. But they said pirates. The survey said pirates. No, no, no. I'm saying it's probably they guess pirates. I don't know. I, I'm I'm confused by that. I mean, I wouldn't have guessed pirates. They can you help as far as I'm concerned. But uh, well, we got many more great movie ride memories to come, Nathaniel. These are all, by the way, stills from our video of the TCM version of the Great Movie Ride. You can see on this very channel. That's a good point. Matterhorn would so drastically change the park, and it was on the list. It was the number four on the list. No, actually, Mutterhorn was. <laughs> Mutterhorn was. Less Mutterhorn. Whole different attraction. Well, there's a lot of things, though, that you could say, well, we got rid of the Skyline. We got rid of the like, Skyliner. You know, like, like, here's the thing. What if we got rid of the People the Mover? Would you have to demolish all of them? Let's get rid of Space Mountain. Is no there a universe else? in which Pirates is in danger of living? I sure hope so. Leave me. I hope not. That's an overrated attraction. Someone loves our channel. Oh, thank Thanks you so. very much. Yeah, thank you. Well, take a moment to, if you don't mind, to click the love on this video. We would appreciate it. A lot. It's a love. A like. A like. Just 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 thank you. It doesn't work. Oh, look who's in first. This has never happened before. No. Madame Leota is in first place. Smile, Madame Leota. I'm not smiling. One little spark. Baby Yoda. Epcot fan and Doug Nut rounding out the top five. Epcot fan. Great name. Yeah. In fact, it might, it might be me playing, to be honest. I'm, I don't know. Question number five. Which Disney villain can beat up all the others? Which Disney villain can beat up all the others? Sure, just skip over the best part of the ride. This is Spaceship Nostromo. That's not how the line is. Sigourney Weaver is on here holding a gun <laughs> and looking funny. Did I get that right? Oh my, it was so spot on. <laughs> This is can, can I just pay my respects to Singing in the Rain and the Western scene? You can. How are there still... There's plenty to go, man. Oh, yeah, I just got on. Plenty to go. I had to, I had to make some tough decisions. I feel like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you could have... I, I, could, I could have, like, put two in one picture. Yeah, yeah. Well, you I could have. I should have. That Perhaps that's what I should have done. <laughs> But instead, I just pick the top. Or just 11. make more questions. That odd. I actually can see it. That's not that bad. I feel bad for the kids when I was in the alien scene. Yeah, it never really scared you that much, did it? I mean, uh, you would like hold on tight, but you were okay. I don't remember it scaring me. Yeah, you were okay. Well, when you get scared on a ride, you just kind of hold your hand tighter, and then you get past it, and you hold your hand not so tight. Good for you. You still do? Yeah, I don't think you do that. Like when you ride test track, you don't still hold hands, do you? Uh, not test track. Yeah. Guys, there's this insane. That scares you in a whole different way. <laughs> yeah, very different kind of way. Well, test track is would be in that way too. Test track, I'm just okay because there's one set, literally one split second moment, and I've gotten oh, drop. yeah, and I've gotten good at being able to brace myself for it, where I can not have it affect me as much. Rebecca found the trailer for it in the cube. Yes, scary new experience in the ride. How exciting is it, by the way, that Alien is coming back to theaters for a limited run? The original Alien. I so want to see that in theater. Um, I just watched it on streaming the other day. I, I love that movie so much. It is top five horror movie of all time. And it is a horror movie. It is not an action movie. Aliens is an action movie. Aliens is an awesome horror movie. 
<laughs> that would be an improvement by a long way. Keep a mover greater than brighter. That's not true. Okay. Uh, the, the timer has gone off. Nostromo is destroying itself. Let's move on. Oh, no, I can't move on. I have to click on the key. I don't know what I'm doing. The correct answer to the question was Maleficent. Maleficent is the chief villain, apparently, topping Gaston, Chernobog, Hades, and <laughs> Ursula. Topping Chernobog? Yeah, Isn't Chernobog, like, <sighs> massive? Chernobog could kick anybody's booty, but people said Maleficent. Yeah, Maleficent's more famous or something. People always win. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of I wonder if she has that has like, anyone made a photoshop of Gaston in the middle of uh, World Showcase Lagoon being roughly the size that would of be the great pirate. that would be great I don't think so um, Madame Leota has this one been done how, how how big is Gaston and the lady let me show you roughly the size of the... that's such a great series if you know you know uh, Miss Lady after five questions, halfway through the game, Madame Leota is in first place with three correct. Baby Leota has the most right with four correct, but extremely slow. That's okay. And let's go on to question number six. That is true, Kyle. <laughs> Go show for a year. Wow. Name a current Disney World Magic Kingdom attraction that's great for older people. Disney World attraction great for older people. There's a photo of it right here. Yeah, but it's not current. I know, it's sad. Um, so let's see. This is the part where he goes, ta da! That's at the end of the Told you I was just going for popcorn. Now, let's get on with the show. That's surprisingly accurate. <laughs> I mean, surprisingly, I've been on this literally as many times as you have. <laughs> no, actually. No, because I wrote it before you were born. And I wrote it with mom sometimes. Right. So those probably balance out to where I've been on literally as many times as you have. Okay, fine. I've been on it more than you have. And my memory is... How many times you go on it without me? I wrote this many times before. You know, you weren't always around. I, I'm, I I've been, I was alive for 53 minus 15 years before you were born. <laughs> Some of those spent at Disney World. What is a great ride for older people, Gideon? What do you think you would have guessed in the survey game? I mean, if I were to just make a choice, just make, like, make a pick myself, I probably honestly would say what the answer is. If I had to think of another one, maybe like Spaceship Earth. Hmm. Did anyone say that? No one said Spaceship Earth. God, a lot of people. Oh wait, no, it's Magic Kingdom. So okay, oh. Magic Kingdom specifically. Small World's good for old people, I guess. Small World is what I thought was going to be the number one Sticky answer. Sticky room, bears, anything that doesn't move a lot. But train. Um, Call the presidents also was one that I thought would be good. Schneds says this is why he should not. Apply for a Disney Family Feud, and I don't think you should. Carousel of Progress was what the survey said. Um, People Mover, Small World, Pirates, and Tiki also up there. Wow, it's pretty silly, I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Maybe not, Mom. <laughs> After six questions, Madame Leota is no longer in first place. We enjoyed it while it lasted. But One Little Spark is faster. It's still in the Denzel, family. Denzel says the nice bench. What does that mean? That's what the best ride for old people is. Oh, the nice bench. I was thinking the nice bench as opposed to the mean bench. But that's not quite how the... That's not I'm the mean the, bench. If you sit here, you will be in pain. I'm the nice bench. Sit here, you'll be comfy. <laughs> wow. That was good. That was my kind of humor. Question number seven. Can he wear the nice bench, mean bench? Name a Disney princess who loved animals. Um, I don't even. I don't have a clue what they say here. Oh, Johnny Weissmuller was Tarzan. He was also an Olympian. Oh, ah, 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 ah. the lovely and talented cheetah. Cheetah. That's mm -hmm. right. That's never proper. Uh, Disney princess who loved animals. Ah, uh, finally, you guys are in tune, in sync with the survey takers. Almost. Warms my heart. The comfy chair. The comfy chair. Geo, maybe I can get this one. I think you might, Geo. I think uh, it's amazing that this is the instant answer for people. I wonder. I mean, I guess she spends her time with yeah. animals. That's the reason why. Which, wait, which one's Geo? But a lot of these spend time with animals. Cinderella spends time with animals. There's so many Geos. Which one's that Geo? <laughs> There's Diz Geo. Geo <laughs> wow. Diz. Is Diz Geo? 
Who's that? The multiple Geo Day? The three Geos. Does Geo uh, just play on multiple accounts and then don't play for Trophy to buy it? Madam Leota is just trying to suck up to. <sighs> That's why everyone's saying Snow White. She's the fairest of them all. <laughs> oh, I should. You know what? Dang it! <laughs> I have the ability to have an exclusive wrong for a quiz, too. All I have to do is put the gif in there, and I never do it. That would have been great. Curses, I want to read one time. Dan, the breaking news man, wants points uh, for, 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 for his name. Okay, you got it. Uh, we'll give you 37 extra points. So we'll add that at the end and see if that would have made you the winner. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm Geo. I'm Geo. I ain't Geo. I don't want to. All right. The correct answer was, of course, the fairest of them all, Snow White. Most of you got that right. Beating out Cinderella, Pocahontas, and Aurora, all of whom love animals as well. After seven questions, Madam Leota, still in second. The top five did not change. Look, 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 look. Look at the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. Madam Leota is only 75 points behind one little spark. Do you know what that means, Gideon? What's it mean? Does it mean that... <gasps> Anybody's game. Anybody's game. Anybody's game. Anybody's game. Anybody can win this game. Anybody could win this game. Speaking of turning back time, how about that sheer AA head? Am I right? You got to turn back time. So I spent this week while my wife was gone out of town and I'm sitting here lonely at night by myself, and this is not an exaggeration. I decided let's watch Solid Gold Year In from 1982 and then 1984. Oh, I thought you guys could do a slip concert. I should have. I should have. You need but, to. But I think Mom wants to do that, too. Oh. So, yeah, I saw the countdown for 82 and 84 from the old Solid Gold TV show. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was good. It brought back some memories. 84, the greatest year in music, period. There is no comparison. Question number eight. What's your favorite? Name a Pixar character that is loud. A loud Pixar character. Hmm. Uh, people like you and me don't amount to a hill of beans in a place like this. Uh, that's what they're playing. Not bad, huh? <laughs> Did I nail the dialogue, though? Something like that. Okay. Ooh, we got some answers that are not matching. Wow. 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 Someone said Doobie. You are not a Pixar character. Or am I loud? Yeah. I'm not loud. I am many things. I'm not loud. My shirt is loud. <laughs> it's loud. the loudest shirt ever. <laughs> I love this shirt. This is now every cruise since I've had this shirt, I wore this to board the cruise exactly once. So this is now my boarding a cruise ship shirt. Sadly, I'm not doing that today. <laughs> I couldn't tell. <laughs> This is a great answer. Ka-chow! Have any of you ever seen lightning strike a building? I fall for that. Four times I've fallen for that. Four times. Apology accepted. It will cost you those 37 points I gave you earlier. Whoa, whoa. Tron Tron said, fun fact, the other half of the plane is on Jungle Cruise. Correct. First of all, no, no, Tron. Pay attention. Uh, but yeah, that's a fun one. That's a fun that's fact. A fun fact. And that's yeah, it's true. Fact. I've seen that back half of the plane. It looks like the plane from Great Movie Ride, except maybe <laughs> the front is the back. Uh, are you just you're just playing wrong? No, no, no. <laughs> I actually need a guess real quick. I'll be we, we need another guest here to help us out. Um, some of the some of the answers there are Boo, Tomator, Lightning McQueen's a good answer. Stumped is a great answer. Um, Rex. Luxo Jr. when he squishes the stage ball. But the correct answer is anger. Only two of you said anger. That's crazy. Okay, Dad, you want to see? I'm going to make lightning appear. ka -chow! So mean. Poor time. Um, Sully, Mike Wazowski, Buzz. Sully again. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and lightning was on the list. But wow, only two people. Certainly hard, apparently. Ginny Barra popped into first place with that one. She got anger, followed by two thirds of the trio, Miss Columbia and Tiny Tiny Yoda in the wine. Tiny 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 Yoda. 
still make you feel fine. Question number nine. Name a current Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom attraction that starts with the letter S. Disney World Magic Kingdom attraction that starts with the letter S. I'm predicting the top five will be funny. Um, here we have um, the Twister scene from The Wizard of Oz. Not from Twister? No. Wrong Twister scene. Okay. Now, Mickey Mouse played the Sorcerer's Apprentice in Walt Disney's 1939 classic Fantasia. And we have giant fans to help you experience. 1939? 1940? What? Okay, yeah. 40 the area of one of my favorite film stars, Mickey Mouse, one of his most iconic roles, The Sorcerer's Apprentice in Fantasia. The sorcerer in this scene is named Yensid, which is actually Disney spelled backwards. Isn't that true? It is. Oh, there was two words. Yes. That's what I meant. Um, top answer for a Disney Magic Kingdom attraction that starts with the letter S. I am happy that... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I mean, it does start with S the way it's written here. The correct answer is not the sepal mover. <laughs> There's a great question, great guess. Uh, Star Tours is a good guess. It is, however, not at the Magic Kingdom. Oh, it's, it's 1940. Nor is Spaceship Earth. It's 40. I did not know it was 40. See, I feel like there's some argument on that. You know what? Let me check. There's a poster in the hallway. I'm going to do some 39. research right now. Yeah, I feel like there's some... Okay, when exactly... Uh, yeah, 1940, there's no argument on that. <laughs> there is on Snow White. There is? I believe... It, yes, yes, I know. I believe it was licensing reasons. It would have been more expensive to use more of the movie, and so they just decided to not. The Snow White premiered on 1937 and was released in 1938, but some people say 37 is when it came out, some people say, like... It's called a 37 film, but so, yes, there is some debate on that. It's old. Ah, the correct answer here, a lot of spaceship, no, not a lot of spaceship Earth. Um, there's a SEPA mover, there's a spaceship Earth, there's Seven Dwarfs My Train, Small World, but most of you said, what is the actual correct answer? Space Mountain, which beat Seven Dwarfs My Train, Splash Mountain, Swiss Family Treehouse. How did it beat Splash Mountain? Um, it's not okay. a current attraction. Two, year, two years old, two years old. After nine questions with that, Miss Columbia pops up into second place. Oh, we, uh, whoa. I recently read in DLR Magazine that Walt made Fantasia to clean up Mickey's image from his previous drinking, smoking, and harassing Minnie. I'm not kidding. Well, if that were his intention, he certainly succeeded because Mickey is now far more squeaky clean than he was in his early days. And the way he did that was by having Mickey to something else do the cleaning for him. <laughs> All right, Ginny Barra, can you hold on? You've got a substantial lead there. I think let's find out. Good chance of winning this. Final question. Final scene from Great Movie Ride. What could it be? Name a Pixar character that loves to eat. A Pixar character that loves to eat. And uh, I'm very curious to see what answer here. I'll get you my pretty and your little dog too. Okay, Gordon. Be gone. You have no power here. You're like going back. <laughs> Oh, we are the lollipop crew for the munchkin people. That line doesn't <laughs> isn't used. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Follow, follow, follow. follow. You know that one though, right? <laughs> I need. I want to be this Disney rides or do be this <laughs> Disney songs. Redo from memory songs and rides. That'd be great. We need that. One. Make it. Make it happen. <laughs> uh, Cookie Monster. You're not gonna be on the search forever, you know. It's not the correct answer. Wow, <laughs> what is with you today? The other one was mom. Oh yeah, both trying to off me. Uh, Pixar, trying to off you. Pixar character, telling you hard facts, kid. Um, Pixar character that loves to eat. We have some good answers here. We've got uh, Remy, a meal, very good. Both of those. Cookie Monster, excellent answer. Not di not Pixar. Not Pixar. Do you know what a meal eats? Remy himself. He eats a meal. <laughs> Uh, Jack Jack, of course, that's a good one with his cookies. Kevin, but oh, almost missed that one. That would have been sad. Uh, Russell, Dash, Wally, don't remember that, but the correct answer, according to our survey, is Heimlich. Mmm, let me some candy corn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, candy corn. Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna do tonight. The next quiz is gonna be uh, photos of everything that Heimlich's to train. <laughs> All right, um, Remy and Emil were the runner-ups there. Not many 
other really cool. How did y'all do? Gideon. One of got third. Second place was won by Miss Columbia. And in first place, today's winner. Judy Barra. Judy Barra. Judy Barra and Miss Columbia, assuming you are. Oh, I get it. Miss Columbia because of Kevin. Who's that, Kevin? Steve Harvey. And his naming the wrong Miss Universe, which he just talked about on uh, Judge Steve Harvey the other day. That's it. If you're not watching Judge Steve Harvey, you're missing out. Not a paid endorsement. Um, congratulations, Judy Barra, Miss Columbia, if you both are... That the film finale looks years different. Years of age or older. What? The film finale of Gateway Years looks different. <laughs> Write me at trivia at laughingplace.com so that we can make sure you get what is coming to you. In a good way. All right. We're going to say goodbye to Mr. Gideon right now. Bye bye. Thank you for having me on the show. You know what? I've had such a good time. I might come back again sometime. <laughs> and we're going to say hello to a guest host we've had before, but it has been a while. And that is. The one, the only, Mickey Mouse! Da, 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 da. No. <laughs> Rebecca Mosley, my wife. Hi. Yep, that's right. She married me, sight unseen. Because had she seen me, it would not have happened. <laughs> Met at Disneyland, and here we are. All right. Wait, it's... But check it out. Okay. Let's, he makes noise. <laughs> Wookie. <laughs> yeah, this is the latest popcorn bucket over at uh, Disneyland, and they gave these out at the at the media. They, they they actually gave these out to us at the media event, so it was very 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 nice uh, takeaway. Except I had no room in my luggage. Ooh, apparently, responds to being slapped. <laughs> yeah, no, it's funny. <laughs> so the reason we're having Rebecca is because this next contest is all about season of the Force, which kicked off yesterday at Disneyland. And Rebecca was there for the kickoff, covering it with Mike Celestino for Laughing Place. So while we go through the questions, she'll talk a little bit about it, show you stuff like the cool Java right there. And uh, we'll have a uh, season of the force kind of day. So any who's, let's go do this. I think, I think it was reporter Brooke. Um, oh, I can't remember her family name. Um, who shared her, the way that she had Java in her suitcase with all of her clothes like stuffed inside and so she ended up having to take it out at tsa <laughs> they were like what is yeah. lpquiz.com lpquiz that oh how appropriate yeah. lpquiz.com we will prepare to play season of the force trivia here six five five this was my address when i lived in, when we got married this was our address six five five one warner avenue apartment 184 yeah, california not, not all that information i would be giving out to people oh yeah i guess that's the yeah. way of verifying uh, -huh. uh i'm kidding not where we lived. <laughs> Never heard of this number before in my life. It it's the street number. Don't need to tell them where. I can't remember I, I, I. Code back then. Oh, I can. <laughs> wow, so we've got Madame Leona, oh, yeah, Schnabs, <laughs> Geodiz, Master Gracie, Sunglass Hut. Um, un Uncle, which by the way, uh, between you and me, this is a secret just between us, okay? Um, Hut was misspelled at the event. It was like Pizza the Hut. It was H U T, Java the Hut. And it broke poor Celestino's heart. He was like, He was heartbroken. All this, day. Is, this is really disturbing me. Yeah, it was very funny. So, yeah, for the media table there. There was something else misspelled too, but I can't remember what it was. But yeah. You can say hi to Grandma and Grandpa for Oh, you. hi, Mom and Dad. Mom and Dad. How are you doing? <laughs> nice to see you. I'm back. Flying all over the place. I'm, I'm back now. Okay. It was actually a really exciting trip. In addition to the. Um, the Star Wars event, I attended a um, screening of the documentary Jane, which is on Disney Plus, highly recommend. Um, it was uh, really uh, impressive. And um, yeah, that was because of the beginning of Earth Day, uh, Earth Month here um, with the Disney Company and National Geographic Partnership. So, oh, thank you, Nathaniel. Nice to see you too. Oh yeah, there's another one. <laughs> oh yeah, Lucasfilm. They had it as two, two words, that's right. Yeah. You better come up with the dough or else pizza is going to send out for you. Is that oh, from great line. Spaceballs? Yeah, you know, okay, so that's going to be featured in the TCM Film Festival in a couple weeks here, and Mel Brooks is even going to be there. It's like the finale film of the, of the I'm festival. Glad you know what's going on in the world. All right, um, I hear something. I hear something. We'll see if I hear it better than that last thing I heard. Oh, no. What do we hear? <laughs> Nope. 
yacht? Yacht, yacht, yacht. 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 No, I a think you, you probably recorded that for Spin That Wheel, but you didn't say it. And I'm, I'm desperate. We lost all our Spin That Wheels. They're still on StreamYard. So send them in, please. Spin oh, That Wheel right, videos, yeah. trivia at laughingplace.com. Ooh, chat OS that AI. Y'all in trouble. <laughs> no way y'all going to win this. All right. Um, spin That Wheel. Oh, I have to do that? Yeah. Oh, Whatever the gig. Right, Six. Six. So if you finish in first or sixth place, you will win your very own one of a kind Disney trivia live did, maglet. Did you, you didn't really lose them. You just haven't bothered to re-download them and re-up. No, them. I can't download them from StreamYard. So if, if people email them to me, I've got them in email. That's what I mean. But I've found all the ones I can find. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean maybe you know email is kind of hard sometimes to find stuff. But yeah. Okay. All the ones I've been able to find, I've added. Oh, so. funny. Please, you know, some people like, people got them to me all kinds of different ways. So please resubmit. If you've done one in the past, send it to me again, trivialiveplace.com. If you've never done one, do one. Spin that wheel. That's all you got to do. It doesn't matter how you do it. Jason Champagne, you've been watching the show a while. I want to spin that wheel from you by next week. Make it happen. Do you drink in the tiny the bubbles? Going on. JJ Man. Oh, hi, JJ Man. All right. Hey, Here we JJ go. Man. All right. We're going to start with a, with a poll. Rebecca, why? Because that way you get used to the interface and we learn more about you. So, how do you normally read books? Uh, physical books, ebooks, or Kindle, audiobooks, or I don't read books. How about you? I'm an audiobook guy. I'm an audiobook person too. Yeah. The nice thing about reading audiobooks is, you know, I don't have to actually read. What What was it? There's one that you recently read that you would like to share. Because I, no, I just, yeah, I, for sure. No. My favorite audiobook of all time, and it's so great. Most audiobooks have one narrator all the way through with a lot of talent, but. You like Harry Potter's are great with the guy doing the different accents, but this one uses different narrators for each chapter, which is perfect because it's the book is an oral history. Speaking of Mel Brooks, done by his son, <laughs> World War Z by Max okay. Brooks, Mel Brooks' son, um, and the audio book uses a different voice for each chapter, many of them famous people, okay. because the book is done as an oral history of the, the zombie wars, and it is just an amazing, amazing audio book that I revisit probably once a year. I just completed Matthew McConaughey's um autobiography called green lights incredibly inspirational the the idea being that when you he kind of has a philosophy on life you know when you approach a red light you can either sit there getting super agitated and irritated and really focused yeah. on the fact that you can't move forward or you can kind of just take a pause in the moment realizing the light's going to change it's going to be a green light in the background you don't really gotta you know stress it kind of thing and so it, it was very interesting the way he showed the kind of the path of his life and how moments in time that were red lights kind of, you know. Now, did he great. read that book himself? Yes, he did. So when you recounted that story, you kind of used his accent a little bit? Well, he, <laughs> but he, he also is from the same part of Texas I was born in and spent enough years in that I got a little bit of it. And when I would listen to that book, I would fall back into the way I would speak when I was about five or six years old. A little bit of that draw would we come back that's not a lot. I got myself a Texas girl. Do, do, you, do you be wishes I had it more often? Oh but, yes, I do. But I really, I really enjoyed. It was, it was an quite an enjoyable read, and now I've got to find another, another book. I like this. I like, I like buying autographed books in order to sit on the shelf collecting. <laughs> you know what's weird about reading an audiobook? Because I used to read a lot of Kindle books yeah. and before audiobooks, and so when I think about a book I listen to, I can't, I can't remember if I listened to read in my mind. It's the exact same experience oh, gotcha. once you consume it. So I can never remember if did I actually read that or did I just hear it. Gideon is currently in the midst of um, Bob Thomas's Walt Disney. So. All right. Let's see how you guys do books. I have a feeling we have a lot of people that like to hug here. Yep. 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 You betcha. Can't hug a file. Oh, man. And the story <laughs> on All Right, All Right. Such a good story. It's a really great story. Robert Tucker has a book autographed by John Adams. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's a great book, I, too. I the John Adams. Adams the John Adams and David McCullough book. Wow. David McCullough is great. I love that everyone. Oh. Matthew McConaughey. I'm all thinking you said it was autographed <laughs> I by did. David McCullough. It was autographed. It can't be autographed by John Adams. Yeah, I know, but I wasn't even listening to you. I just heard autograph, and I oh. thought you meant David McCullough. <laughs> then I said what I said. Then I processed that you said it was autographed by John Adams. It could be. I don't know dork. how, but you're such a dork. Neat trick. All right, let's get going. These are all questions related to season of the forest. I hope you've been reading Laughing Place. Oh. Question over. Starting with the type in. 
Uh, oh, this cool jacket is modeled after what attractions costume? It is a cool jacket. It's actually a lightweight sweatshirt, which is not how it, well, no, I should say kind of a moderate weight sweatshirt, which is not how the images made it look when it was first out there. Um, and so, uh, and then on the back, I think it says Star Wars, the adventure whoa, whoa, continues. Whoa. That's the question. I said Star Wars by okay. mistake. Um, <laughs> and um, they, uh, they were going really quickly off the shelf, to be honest. So, um, Gideon was so happy to get this. Mm -hmm. So happy. Yeah, I did not think I was going to be able to get it to him. Um, so among our incredible answers are Cosmic Rewind, Guardian of the Galaxy, all very good answers. Rise of Resistance is a great answer. The Bio Range ride is an interesting answer from, uh, you know who you are, Autopia is an interesting answer. Uh, we'll wait a couple more it seconds. It does look like Autopia, though. I could see that. Yeah. But the correct answer here is, I wish he, if you he were here right now wearing it, he would turn around and show it off. Do, 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 do. It is from Star Tour. Yeah. yeah. Recognize it now. We're up. Most of you got that right, though. He was, yeah. Yay. Babu Frick got it the fastest. Bravo, Babu. And sunglasses. Babu. Hey, Babu. Babu. And Jabba the Picketing Basket, Babu. Question number two, I'll let you read. New to this year's event is a scavenger hunt called Blink. Okay. Hunt and locate, probe and discover, explore and discover, or seek and find. Make your choice. We had a question here. How do you feel about the new scenes in Star Tour? Loved the new scene in Star Tour. Okay, so the way it works is you have a new new destination. Um, other aspects of it are, are the same, but you do have new transmissions that can... Uh, appear to you um we enjoyed uh mando and grogu and of course grogu was a scene stealer and they do have cheap 3d tricks <laughs> so um if you don't want to know what happens hit pause for a moment i'll wave at you when i'm done um you can't but, pause so mute. i mean hit mute <laughs> um but what happens is um there's a little frog one of those little frog things and it kind of floats out um towards you uh -oh. And oh, and uh, Grogu, uh huh. The Grogu uses the force, but then it gets away, and you know, so it's it's uh, it's, it's it's cute. Okay, I'm waving now because I won't I won't I won't say anymore. That um, is great. But coming through the through the clouds and seeing the space whales, um, is really incredible. And what what surprised me, and uh, once we just call them space whales. That's a question coming up. So. Yeah. Okay. What <laughs> and what surprised me is that they found a way to give you a new physical experience. So you are going to um, perform aer aer aerobatic uh, stuff wow. that you haven't otherwise done. So the coupling of the screens, but I, it's all it's all out there and everything. But And Tron says, I'm sad Pedro Pascal doesn't voice Mando. I will say I wouldn't have known, but there were quite a few of my fellow passengers who speculated. I haven't seen that officially stated, but they also haven't gone through making a point of telling us that it is either. So it's one. So I'm 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 you know. So I I'm not going to disagree with that um, uh, uh, speculation. Uh, but like I say, that's not something that's officially you know they're kind of giving us the the voice credits, as it were, for it. And on LP, we've got some interviews with uh, Tom Fitzgerald, who talks about the Star Tours and um, the upgrades and some of this stuff. So you can hear some of this cool stuff straight from the WDI guy's mouth. But but this um, event, the, um, can I say it now? You can say the, it now. The Seek and Find. It is the Seek and um, Find. These canisters are actually only about yay big. Oh. So they're not very easy to spot. They're not very easy to seek and find? Uh-uh. Which, which made it more challenging and... Part of the um, thing is they're varying in color too. So it's not like once you find one, you're like, okay, I can look for one that looks exactly like right. this. There's various colors. And then that comes into play in decoding it, what color it was and that kind of thing. So it's kind, kind of, of a thing. fun game? So um, y yes, but it's a little bit more convoluted. It's not as straightforward, which made it a bit more challenging and therefore, sadly for some people, more frustrating, which made it a little less fun for them. But I had a great time. I had a lot of fun. And you love that kind of. Yeah, and yeah. it was, and it's free. It's just included in your admission. There's no additional, oh. and and the redemption is just a, a little collectible card. It's not like a, you know, big huge. So you know, just go enjoy it for a bit, and then get your little 
collectible mm -hmm. card and move on with your day, you know, kind of thing. So, so it was Seek and Find. Only five of you got that right. That's surprising. It's such a iconic name for a thing like that. <laughs> uh, Babu Frick got it right. Still in first place, along with Sunglass Hut, Uncle Orville, Tron, and Jabba the Geo rounding out the top and five. And if you're going to Disneyland, you start off your adventure at Star Traders. That's where you pick up a card and then take it over to Batuu, do your seeking, and then head back to Tomorrowland for your decoding. And then Star Traders for your redemption. Does Star Traders still have the Mickey doing acrobatics on top of it? Yeah, which apparently is a brainchild of um, Tom Tom K. Morris. And I know that because he's on Twitter. Oh! And he talks about it. I didn't know that. Cool. No, me neither. That's oh. cool. I had no idea. And it's in his bio, I think. Something like uh, W.E.D. Wed historian, but mostly known for a castle in France and that Mickey over Star Traders. <laughs> Question number three. I'll just let you keep reading. This is your area. Okay. Uh, walk around character made what walk around character made their debut at this year's right mm -hmm. season of the Force. Was it the Mandalorian, Grogu, Ahsoka, or Sabine? Okay. So this was um, they very kindly as part of your media package uh, gave you a lightning lane. For Rise and a Lightning Lane for um, Space Mountain. Did you do Rise? Uh, Hyperspace Mountain. No, I did not do Rise. Um, so I went, not my cup of tea. So I went <laughs> to Hyperspace Mountain and enjoyed it. I'm, I, it is my favorite of the Space Mountain um, overlays. Like, you know, I mean, other than Dick Dale. Dick Dale was oh, the Dick best. Oh, Dick still your favorite? No, yeah, Dick Dale was the best because it was just pure with music. I like it. But as far as like with this visual thing, man, yeah, I really, I really liked this. So. I I've never done Hyperspace Mountain. I'm so excited. Do they have Hyperspace Mountain? Kyle, do they have Hyperspace Mountain in France? I feel like they are. I don't know. Now I'm wondering. I don't know. Um, uh, Nathaniel says I saw this all over socials. It has to be Sabine. Let's see if you're right. It, it was. Is Sabine. It was Sabine. Now you got to experience uh, the interaction. How was she, it? it? It was. It was amazing. She really just steps right out of the the show. Um, the costume. The um. Which will be in the next question. We'll see her costume. The um the uh, actor actor um herself just really uh, amazing. Um, so, somebody says you need to fix the blue lights. Okay. Um, <laughs> Hyperspace Mountain is at and J J Smith. I'm just not a fan of. Right. Of, of the it's that whole prison dynamic that whole dynamic there is uncomfortable um yeah kyle says it's been around for a while so they so there you go but yeah uh sabine was the correct answer tron moving up the board jabba the geo jenny barra trying to go back to back but babu frick and sunglass hut are firmly entrenched in spots one and two let's go on to question four Let's get a look at Sabine while Rebecca reads the question. What is the name of this creature that now appears in Star Tours? Is it the Purgle, the Minoc, the Akle, or the Dianoga? And you're, are, is this a multi? This is the new creature. Okay, the one that just debuted. The one that just debuted. Okay, so the, the one that's part of this season of the Force debut. So what was so, supposed to happen was there's supposed to be a picture of it. Mm-hmm. But because of the Sabine question, I want to have a picture of Sabine yeah. and forgot that I needed to show a picture of the creature here. You can still answer without a picture of the creature. Oh, but I can go grab it real quick. Is, well, but now people have answered. Okay. But you can still get it. It'd be nice to show it. It's like another word for the space whale. What's their actual name? Yes. But man, I messed this up again. There you go. <laughs> By the way, this is my picture yes, of I Sabine. Yes, I wanted to include this. It's so cool. How amazing does she look? I, I thought this with, was like a I hit, I hit that thing and my phone said portrait. Yeah, I know. It's what what do they call the Purgle? I know. It's Purgle. The answer is Pur Purgle. Nikki's like, huh? What? <laughs> what is the name of this creature? Yeah, no. It's... Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I, I tried to clean it up. You cleaned it up I well, and I'm sure plenty of people got it right. It's okay. I'm sure. Okay, I tried. And you cleaned it up very well. My phone just purple. automatically did that. I was like, oh, I want to do a portrait because I want the background blurry because I don't really like the background they have her with. And it made it all purple like that. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like this it. is a purgle. No, this is not no, a purgle. No, that is Sabine. A purgle is the space whale, Sabine. which is a semi-sentient creature. What does that mean, semi-sentient? I thought animals, are animals not considered sentient? I don't want to have it. I'm tired. I don't want to have a debate <laughs> over that. A debate? 
I don't, don't, don't want to discuss the meaning of the word Ooh. sentient. And Sunglass is Hut and isn't. has taken over Babu Frick. They both got it right, but Sunglass Hut got it with speed. Geo, Tron, and JJ Man running out the top five. Question number five. This is a type in worth 2,000 points. You must get it exactly right. What is the name of the new fireworks experience as viewed from Batu? What are they calling the new fireworks mm. experience when you view it from Batu? And this was to be the highlight of the media evening. Um, I had already left, so I could um, go uh, home to my family. Uh, but uh, it uh, it got canceled because of the high winds, which often cancel um, fireworks at over the Disneyland Resort in the modern yeah. era. Um, and uh, it's really cool because they finally, what they've done is they're offering you an, a unique score that fits in with the land. So you have the beautiful music of John Williams, um, as you're seeing um, the the fireworks, you know, over over Batu. Uh, now the exciting thing is initially this was announced as being part of the season of the Force, but they're going to extend it, and this should be continuing beyond that, mm -hmm. which is great because a lot of us were expecting this when they first, you know, <laughs> launched fireworks, uh, fi launched Batu. Launch yeah. Sorry, launched Batu, <laughs> because you know you know you can see fireworks from there. You told us that this is going to be an immersive storytelling so you know we figured it was just part of their ultimate uh, their initial plan so um exciting to see it in fact when the fireworks didn't happen they actually had a universe in universe uh themed announcement for why it, it didn't happen um i'm i believe that's on our twitter it from is, last night so if, if you look it's, it's on our twitter so you can see it there so among the answers it is not is the big boom party fire oh, like in the that, sky though. Uh, this is the answer you're looking for. Oh, that's another. Oh, I should mark that one right. Yeah. Uh, space and not very Star Warsy over here, but the right <laughs> answer is fire of the rising moon. Yeah. I am so impressed how many people got that right. Yeah, me too. Let us see what that does. Two thousand points. Know. I was, I, was just, <laughs> I didn't know that one. Wow. I will now. But fire of the rising. Right, so moon. Sunglass Hut with the commanding lead. Babu Freak did not get that one right. Question number six. Where is this galactic creation located? Would this be at the Grand Californian Hotel, the World of Disney, the Disneyland Hotel, or the lobby of Mr. Lincoln? Um, I was going to say something, but I'll wait until the answer's there. So I'll <laughs> say something else. Uh, the Overall, the event is a lot of fun um, for Star Wars fans in that you've got the uh, Hyperspace Mountain, right? So Star Wars over there, you, uh, you know, adjacent to Star Tours. They got a lot of really yummy treats. I have this thing called the Wookiee Parfait that's over at Galactic Grill. It's um, caramel mousse, chocolate pudding, um, chocolate sponge cake, uh, cookie, like cookie, uh, Oreo cookie type uh, crust crumble and uh, crispy chocolate pearls. And so good, really, really thick uh, and, and, and tasty and yummy. And you're right, Gio, it's easy to overlook, but definitely when something special is going on at Always the resort, stop check out the Grand California. And, and even, if, even if they don't, they have amazing um, uh, <laughs> floral displays in the lobby too. Oh, it's, it's, I was, yeah, it was better. Th it was the one thing on the foodie guide that I was like, I have to try it. And then when I tried it, it was even better than I expected. I really enjoyed it. In fact, it was my lunch. I didn't eat lunch. Oh, and, but then, okay. So the whole reason why I was here, um, I came over to take pictures of the um, Star Wars Season of the Force display at the Grand Californian Hotel. But I didn't want to, but since it says a galactic creation landing soon, I, I feel like there's going to be more coming. So I, you know, I, I got kind of an establishing shot, but didn't do a lot of, of really close work. So I hopefully we'll send uh, Celestino. We'll be able to get back and let you guys see what it looks like um, when it's created, but in its it's completed. But yeah. Woo. 61% of yeah, you got that right. AJ knows. Took a pic of this on Thursday yeah. night at the Grand California Hotel. Lovely hotel. Smells great in here. Yeah, so after I took that, I decided to go over to DCA to get something to eat because seeing well, that was on my list last time that I didn't get to try. Um, um, the yeah, the pastrami fries at the uh, uh, Smoke Jumpers Grill. Is that a food and wine thing or just? I uh, think it's a seasonal. My recollection was it's a seasonal thing. It was so good. Yeah. Oh, it was crinkle fries with like Big Mac secret sauce, pretty much a Thousand Island, right? 
um, then some sort of creamy, cheesy thing, but not too much of it, but just enough. And then um, chopped dill pepper, mm. I mean, dill pickle. That's the best part. And then um, pastrami. They're so good. All these layers up for good. So good. She's our VP of uh, West great. Coast Food, and I'm kind of jealous of that job. I would say go. Sunglass Hut in first place. Question number seven. What Star Wars character inspired this parfait? Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Princess Leia, or Chewbacca? Have you been paying attention? <laughs> hey, I, I didn't say that. No, name. you didn't. You didn't. Can you ask a question I can get right? Like, what, what state is Disneyland in? <laughs> Next time, we'll do that. We'll try and bounce between. That's why the first one was a poll quiz. Because then it's like, uh, everybody, everybody's kind of on equal footing because you don't need knowledge, so... Uh, DLR Magazine had an article about the Grand Californian. Okay. Uh, and you guessed because you could see the w very nice. Yeah. That oh, is that place show. is so gorgeous. And the way that they have the carpet, if you ever go, you know, uh, the lobby, they have this beautiful carpet in the, in the center of the, of the lobby floor, but then the, um, the, t the marble work that extends that design just matches it so beautifully between the carpet Perfect. and the, and the marble yeah. um, flooring there, it's its stunning. Oh, the candy belt is giving it away. Yeah, yep. it, it should. Who's the guy in back? Uh, that is Nubs. He is a, a Pumbaa character from the new series, uh, the, I want to say, the Young Jedi Adventures oh, on Disney+. Oh, Young Jedi Adventures. Yeah, it's like the toddler Jedi show. But he's adorable, and so I brought him. Yeah, that is, of course, the, um, you just mentioned it was the Wookiee Parfait, so yep. it is Chewbacca. Chewbacca! Favorite Wookie. Our favorite Wookiee. Does any other Wookiee have a name? Yes, plenty of them do, but mostly names I don't know how to say. George. No, no. What's your name? <laughs> George. No, no. Sunglass Hut's in first place with the perfect score. Look at you, Mr. Congrats, Sunglass Hut. Sunglass on this Hut. Style. Perfect score. I have a feeling that's our editor who would have just seen all this stuff the past few <laughs> days. So? Yeah, I could be wrong. It's just a guess. Another type in question. Question is... What are the names of these droids, which can now be found in Galaxy's Edge? What are these guys' names? So what type, I guess, what, what asking, type of droid? Yeah, what I was going to say, droid? you want to know what type of droid, because so, they actually do have individual names. I'm sorry, names. what type of droid? Okay, so these things are just as adorable in person as they are on film. They're, you just really want to pick them up and hug them. They are the sweetest looking thing. I would compare the dynamic of when these guys show up to if you've ever seen or experienced the Peabody Ducks. You know how they, the, the, it's a thing at, at a hotel, it's now in Nashville, but they did have a couple of other hotels back in the day, but they have this fountain and the ducks have a penthouse on the top of the hotel, right? Or, or somewhere in the hotel. The top, and then yeah. they process, they, they take a specific duck elevator and then the doors open and there's a red carpet. Everybody lines up and the little ducks come out and then swim in the fountain all day. And then at five o'clock retire for the evening. And everybody gathers to bid farewell to the little ducks and they get out of the water and just waddle their way up the red carpet to the elevator and up to their um, penthouse. And that's what it reminded me of when these guys, because they, they kind of have a little bit of waddle since they're, you know, two legged and uh, they were uh, super adorable. Well, Nathaniel, you have to check out our video over on Laughing Place. Well, we I, have to, you, not uh, to brag, yeah, but YouTube right now has the most pop, I'm sorry. LP right now yeah. has the most popular YouTube video featuring these creatures. Yeah, you got to check it out over on YouTube. So. Right on this very channel. Thank you, Mike Delacino, for that. Yeah. Um, great answer, Denzel. Tweet LD and tweet L dumb. But, oh, that's, <laughs> I love that. That's a great name. But actually, these are BDX, BDX droids. BDX droids. BDX droids. You guys have been paying attention. You guys all BDX. Have that, right? Yep. They're cutie patooties, though. All right. After eight questions, Sunglass Hut dominating. Job of the Geo, trying to hang on. Tron, Babu Freak, and Master Gracie. Thank you, Nathaniel. I appreciate Thank that. Thank you, Nathaniel. Question number nine. An unscramble. Ooh, That's we haven't been had a one while. Of these in a while. Spelling counts. Unscramble this drink. Ooh, this now, drink is over at Oga's Cantina. Now available at Oga's Cantina. It was on the Halcyon, but they brought it over. It comes with this um, tube to the side that has a. So. The beverage itself, I, I have not tried either of these, but what I have heard, and I will give you a hint, I have heard that when you drink this, you put the tube of stuff in your drink and you pretty much, your mouth is numb from the amount of, of heat really? and spice Wow! If you, if you do it 
too much or whatever. That's why they give it to you in a tube, I guess, because you can kind of control the uh, amount of. Uh... Oh, sorry, JJ. That's yeah, a bummer. I can see that, JJ. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. So unscrambled. I forgot unscrambled. Time does not matter. So take your time. Yeah. Just get it right. <laughs> Denzel, your answer is brilliant. <laughs> So it will, it will uh, definitely. Uh, so Mike um, went over because he really wanted these um, Halcyon uh, containers. So he uh, stopped by Oga's Cantina while I was uh, capturing footage for the uh, LP crew uh, elsewhere. Uh, he was at the Cantina. I am not a Cantina fan because there isn't typically somewhere to sit, and I don't want to go somewhere just to stand. So. Um, a couple of you guys are going to see you got this wrong, even though you got it right, but it was after the time ran out, I'm sad to say. So, um, yeah, that's a tough one. Probably should have given a little extra time for that, but so be it. And the answer is the fiery Mustafarian, because it's oh, Mustafar's the no, fire planet. Yeah, right. And uh, T-I-L, so, fiery spelled F-I-E-R-Y, not F-I-R-E-Y. Why would they spell it the other way? That's fire. It's oh, F-I-R-E, okay. it's fiery. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, but it is the fiery Mustafarian, mm -hmm. and um, and then they also have the space. Some what is it, Kyle? The space something martini. Sure. I'm pretty sure Kyle. Will I know, believe I'm you. Sure. Um, yeah, and I don't think we have reviews of those. We certainly have pictures of them. And fun fact: these are collectible glasses. You get to take home. It's available exclusively at Olga's Cantina now, formerly from the Galactic Star Cruiser. Oh, but we should totally have Mike do that. He has the glasses, so he could just find somewhere very Star Wars in his house and just do he a should. little stand up. Right. Have his own. We'll give him that. Yeah. All right. After nine questions, I think Sunglass Hut is running away with this. Job of the Geo, Master Gracie Tron, and Babu Frick hanging on. Mustafari is a tough word to spell, I'm sorry. Final question. Another type in worth 1,500 points. According to its name, this burger is made of what type of meat? According to its name, this burger is made of what type of meat? Unfortunately, most of the season of the force entrees were featured a lot of pork. And so I don't eat pork, so I couldn't try a lot of the, the season of the force menu. So I ended up eating um, the uh, a lot of the desserts and, and baked goods, which no problem here. However, I did finally get to try the famous uh ronto wrap in my case the ronto less wrap because it's a it's a vegetarian not uh pork based um it was so good yeah yeah it's a really good breakfast item we should totally go I have one some, Me, sometime need, it was i love those meat it was very very good this sandwich this uh burger itself by the way it is uh it's got kimchi on the top you can see there um but then it features um a beef and vegetable patty uh -huh, a beef patty and a vegetable patty and is, it, is it two patties? My recollection was that it had the two patties and the... No, no, I think you're right. It's like a blend. The and way I read, the, I thought it was yeah, a blend, yeah. but it couldn't say for sure. Yeah, um, and then with um, that's braised pork belly um, underneath. So. All right, we need a ruling on this one. Um, oh, I... I would give it because yeah, I think I think, I think they were trying. Yeah, I think so too. I think that's what they're trying to go with. Right, so the correct answer is this is the Bantha Burger. Bantha Burger. So who says Bantha. the Bantha's never made it in the Galaxy's Edge? Like yeah, no, exactly. Shows. Yeah, there they go. You didn't get to ride it, but you got to eat it. Got to eat it even better. I miss her. Yeah. All right, Bantha was the correct answer. Let us go to the podium, Rebecca. Okay. Master Gracie in third place. In second place, we have Job of the Geo. And topping the charts is Sunglass Hut. And what was our podium place? I mean, our spin the wheel? Six. Six. In sixth place, we have Tron. Tron, yeah. Way to go, Tron. So Sunglass Hut and Tron, if you are 18 years of age or older, trivia at laughingplace.com. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to say about Season of the Force before we close out today? Um, No, no. I mean, not really, because it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, We'll have a... We, we have a lot of videos. That's what I do want to say is on the YouTube channel, uh, Laughing Place here, we have a video with Tom Fitzgerald talking from the Imagineering side on the uh, new additions at Star Tours. And it's really fun to hear from someone like him. Tom has been 
a long time like Star Wars fan and, and you know, over there at Imagineering. And uh, he had, he was part of the, like the Star Wars, uh, Star Tours Adventure Continues when, when those new destinations and just, you know, his enthusiasm, you can tell how excited he was with, with you know, Imagineering being able, because they actually get to, sometimes they get to end up keeping secrets because they like, he read um, the Ahsoka stuff oh, and course. he saw, read about the space whales and thought, oh, that's be beautiful. But they didn't actually know what they looked like when they were reading this because it hadn't been, they were yeah. just seeing the script. And so it was, you know, and so just the thought of that and then, okay, well, here, here's what they are. And then how do we realize that in, in this kind of dimensional world versus the, you know, t the small screen and flat versus a larger screen and three dimensional. So it was very, it, it's an interesting, um, interesting story. And I know he did a lot of interviews with various media outlets. And I was fortunate, you know, while I'm waiting for mine, I get to hear all the others and he's not going to say the same thing to everyone. So yeah, check him out because you'll learn so much kind of about the storytelling process and and just the different things that they discover um, in in the creation. I, I yeah, I it was a lot of fun. I had a good time. <laughs> Sorry, Shad. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Not your night. Well, well, Disneyland trivia coming up on Tuesday. All right, thanks for joining us. We will be back on Tuesday. Job of the Hut would like to say something. I don't know if he will or not. We'll see. He makes different noises when you open him up. Thanks for joining us, Dan, the Breaking News Man. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Back.